Marketing Connections. It's Tuesday, October 26th, 21. Together again. Nothing better than that word together. Knitted together, formed of one purpose, one accord, as we mentioned last week. Finding our place. Discovering that we are not alone. It's such a great blessing to be part of something, to be part of Connections Church with you. Connections Church being part of the greater body and taking our place in the kingdom. In order to accomplish that, we have to defeat multiple things. And that's what we're talking about this week. We're asking God to search the depths of who we are. And hopefully in that process, God, who already knows who we are, will reveal how precious we are. And we will find belonging. That's God's desire for each and every one of us, is that we would find our home in Him. And as we find our home in Him, that we would welcome others. That's been His plan. That is the design of the church. And it's why if you have not submitted to a relationship with God, if you have not found your church home, you may be battling loneliness. Loneliness is yet another trap, something that needs to be sifted out, something that we need to delve deep within and allow God to examine why we feel alone. We are made to belong. We are made to be part of something greater. The devil offers many, many counterfeits, offering up all sorts of ways to belong. Yet you get to be a little bit older in life and you recognize that none of those things really ever satisfied our need to belong. I don't know about you, but I, until I came into the right relationship with God, always felt out of step with the world. No matter what group I, I tried to, to belong to, no matter where I searched, I just always felt like a misfit. The beauty of coming into relationship with God is the moment that you choose to come into relationship, God says, welcome home. You belong here. I can remember very well feeling lonely out of step. The danger of feeling lonely and out of step is that in that loneliness, we fall prey to the, the devil who is convincing us that our actions do not matter. Worse than feeling like a misfit is being manipulated into harming others because
we're alone. What's it matter? <laughs> I know I'm borrowing from last week. What's the point? I'm alone. I'll always be alone. It's me against the world. So shouldn't I have everything that I want? That's what everybody else is doing. Loneliness is a lie because you were made to belong. What everyone who is outside of a relationship with God is experiencing is the pulling on their heart to seek Him. And prayerfully, <laughs> our lives get interrupted and we finally recognize that God is, is the answer. And as he knits us into his church and gives us purpose, we find that we've, we've found our home. We find where we belong. Our life hasn't changed dramatically. I try to explain this to others that as pastor, I have a relatively small group of, of friends. I am blessed with my bride, who is my best friend, my confidant, the one who I can take anything to. And I have other friends beyond that, but only a few. I'm grateful that, that God has blessed us with children. And I'm very close to them. And my parents have always been my counsel. But those are the same relationships that I had when I felt desperately alone. I wasn't alone, but nevertheless, when that loneliness seeps in because we don't understand where we fit, no matter how many relationships God desires to bless us with, We can feel alone. Have you ever felt alone in a crowded room filled with people and they all seem that they know exactly where they fit? Been there more than a few occasions. In order for us to truly develop into the people that God needs us to be, we must finally defeat loneliness. Allow God to sift that away and recognize that if all we have is God, we are not alone. And if we truly are pursuing God, then we trust that he is good to his word and he will knit us into the body of Christ exactly where we belong. We must stop using loneliness as our excuse And we must continue to press forward. Romans 12, 4 and 5. Just as each of us has one body and many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body. Each member belongs to all the others. Do you know why you don't function fully and haven't found the place that you fit in? Because you haven't pressed into your relationship with God. Do you know why the church kind of limps along and never finds its stride? Because we're still missing many of the parts that would help make us whole. For years, I've asked you, the church, to stop being a gathering of individuals and become the body of Christ. In order to do that, we must defeat loneliness and seek God. 
We must choose to live for our neighbors and be willing to be held accountable by them. Psalm 139, verse 7. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to he the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If that's truly your heart, if you truly are as invested in your relationship with God as you say you are, or say you, you would, would love to be, then how in the next breath can you say, I'm alone? The creator of all things values you so much that he sends his son to die so that you may come into relationship and never be alone again. That's the friend that I need. That's the traveling companion that can lead me anywhere. Add an additional few that give good counsel and provide encouragement and can hold me accountable. We are a team that cannot be defeated. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day. For darkness is as light to you. This passage certainly aligns with the passages that we just spoke. But it's also what defeats depression. Perhaps you are considering giving up folding your tent and going home. Perhaps David felt that same way. Yet he reminded himself, even if I were to do that, you wouldn't give up on me. Even if I tried to just run to the darkest place I could find. You would still shine like a beacon in the night to draw me home. Do not allow loneliness to defeat you. You belong here. You belong in the hands of God. You belong in the body of Christ. Resist the devil and he will flee. Allow God to break that feeling of loneliness off of you today. There's so much more that God needs to accomplish. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. When everyone else gave up on us, Lord, you were there. When we gave up on ourselves, you were there. When we bought into the lies of the world who told us that we had no worth, that we didn't matter. 
you were there. You breathed life into these dry bones and told the world that we were your sons and daughters. Rid us of the plague of loneliness. The devil stalks around us, whispering in our ears, trying to drag us back where you delivered us from. We say no more. My father has purposed me for something greater. I was vulnerable through my entire life because I truly felt alone. But now, I am part of the kingdom. Thank you, Lord, for opening my eyes and restoring my relationships. Do it again, Lord for all those that we serve, all those that we can reach. The world is dying of loneliness. Breathe fresh air. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. All right. Meet you back here. Make a great day of it. And every time you feel alone, grab hold of God. Every time you feel alone, befriend someone. Every time you feel alone, resist the devil and he will flee. Meet you back here tomorrow morning. Until then, know that I love you and I miss you. And please be good. <laughs>